Hey, what's up guys, Dan here. Welcome to a new FIFA 18 squad builder. This is my first of the year. I've got the likes of Santi Cazorla, Lanzini and Renato Sanchez to make up this squad. And it's going to set you around 50,000 coins back. At this time of FIFA, obviously that is quite a lot of coins. But if you've got the coins, go, and, go ahead and buy this team. It was great on a counter-attack and a lot of fun with it. Now we're using a 4-3-3 formation, which is the fourth version here, um, which obviously has the cam, the two centre mids and the wingers, which I think is a perfect balance for a squad. Now the whole squad will be Premier League players, as I mean it's a popular league and I thought I'd go with that straight away. Um, in goal we've got Jack Butland, who's got 81 diving, 83 handling, 85 reflexes and 78 positioning, and he will cost you around 3,000 to 4,000 coins. I say definitely worth it for a keeper like him, definitely reliable and stops it where needed. But at this time of FIFA, they are still trying to fix the, the, the bugs in the game, so you won't sort of see the reflection of a true keeper just yet. Um, in a centre-back position, we've got Davinson Sanchez, who plays the Spurs, uh, signed for him late on in the transfer window. Um, he's got a strong pace stats, and he's good at defending as well, as well as being good in the air. And next one, we've got a quite a similar player, who's called Michael Keane, who plays for Everton. Um, he's got 72 pace. 82 defending and 82 physical, quite similar stats to Davis and Sanchez. In the right back position, we have got Cedric, who's 79 rated this year, who's got 82 pace, 76 dribbling, 76 defending, and a four star weak foot. Now, back in the day, he used to play for, I think he was Sporting Lisbon in the Portuguese league. That's where I first noticed him, and I thought I had to try him out on FIFA this year again. Um, I think he costs around 4,000 coins. I might be wrong there. But on the other side of the pitch, we have got Alberto Moreno, who's 76 rated this year. Uh, he's got 88 pace, which is good for bombing forward down that wing. But sometimes he does get a little bit caught out in that position. As you can see here, William picking up the ball and he just lost him already. Passes it across and Jesus gets that shot away. It's blocked. And somehow Jack Butland saves that shot. I don't know how, um, especially with the keepers being dodgy at this time of the year, uh, but still a great save to sort of recognise there. Now we move on to the midfield in this team. Uh, we start off in the first centre mid position. We've got Santi Cazorla, who's 83 rated this year. I mean, he's been unlucky with in, uh, injuries in the last couple of years, which has stopped him from sort of really performing on the pitch. Um, he's got five star weak foot and four star skill moves, a great solid centre mid. And he's a perfect kind of player for me because he's that small, nimble player who can get that little pass inside. I like scoring those goals, like the one which Arsenal scored against Norwich, which, funnily enough, um, Santi Cazorla was part of then. Um, we've got Renato Sanchez, who is actually quite expensive. Um, if you want to maybe take the squad down by 10k then you can get a cheaper alternative but he's as good as he was last year he's a great solid center mid and a great part for this team now in the cam position we've got Lanzini who's 81 rated who seems to be the cheap player um well cheapish player he's about 7k I think um on everyone's minds because he's such a good skillful little player on the edge of the box he's got a great shot on him but it's more important the assists which he gets and sort of just the the way he's creating these moves um, a, a great finish right there just into the far corner of the, the goal from Santi Cazorla now that's what uh, Santi Cazorla was better at sort of getting forward and getting those shots in and also sort of setting up goals um, more than the defending now that's what Renato Sanchez did uh, there's a great goal there from Lanzina which luckily came off the post and went in uh, now this team was great at counter attacking however at the start of the game I'd advise paying it on defensive just so you're caught, not caught out at the um, start of the game and so you can get a bit of a solid foundation for your passing um, and another clip right here, we pick the ball up with Renato Sanchez on the edge of the box, play it to Lanzini, does a great turn, a great turn again and is really unlucky for the finish right there. I don't quite know how I didn't score. Um, another move right here, we pick up, pick up the ball with Buffal and it's a great ball over the top to Santi Cazorla who takes it down really well and finishes it past his keeper. Now, a lot of you won't have 50,000 coins at the moment. Now, um, if you don't, if you only have about 10, 20k then I'm going to make a starter squad for you guys as well. A great team move there with Lanzini finishing the ball off. Um, so I will be releasing that next. Um, I think it's tomorrow I'll be, be releasing that just so you can get a squad in as well. Now, look at what a goal this is from Lanzini. He picks it off on a half volley and gets it past the keeper. That was the best goal I scored with this squad. A great, great goal from the edge of the box into the top corner. Now, the replay did show it um, that it was a lot better than it looked at first. And oh, I was quite happy with Lanzini overall. Now we can move on to the final three now. We've got a left wing, a striker and a right wing. Do you remember that ultimate trio? Yes, that will be returning in a couple of weeks time just after, after I've got a few squad builders out. Now, um, 
Buffal does still have that 5 star skill moves and he's also got the 4 star weak foot. Did a good job for my team, he's good on that wing, uh, gets down that past that left back, right back sorry, um, and gets that cross into the box. And that's how dangerous that this team was. Now on the other side of the pitch we have got a 75 rated Narsing who plays the Swansea with that dangerous 91 pace. Again does the same as Buffal, gets down the past that full back, gets past the defender and gets the ball into the box for Callum Wilson who's in the middle of the box who actually caught me three goals and four assists in his team. Um, I think Callum Wilson will cost you around 4,000 coins. Um, Callum Wilson, yeah, 4,000 coins. He's got three star weak foot, three star skill moves, got the pace to beat the defender and get into that box and he's got a good finish as well. Now, as I said, Narsing getting past that full back. He's got a bit of space here, passes it inside to Wilson, gets that one two and it's a lovely finish from Narsing right there to get it past the keeper. I think he got me two goals in the five games which I played for him, um, whereas Buffal only got me... Um, didn't actually score for me, but instead got me two assists. Now, um, obviously, Callum Wilson was the centre part of this team. A great move right there, um, evolving all the attacking three and getting it forward to Callum Wilson, who made that darting run uh, through the middle and lovely finish from him. So, um, I want your comments from you, just to see um, what squads you want coming up, what maybe um, leagues you want involved. If you want a BPL Serie A squad, I can definitely do for that for you. Or if you want something different, if you want an MLS squad, because you've still got players like Perlo in this game, who we've got to try out the free kicks for. We've got to try out, see what they're like on the game so far. But what I want to try out as soon as possible are the icons. They seem so good this year. Ronaldinho in particular, I want to try him out. I want to try out Thierry Henry. I want to try out Pele. I want to try out all these players just because they look so fun to use. And um, yeah, so, so far on FIFA 18, I'm finding the game alright. I'm getting quite frustrated at times, not going to lie. I feel like I'm really easily ex exposed. But at the same time, getting forward and those passes are a lot better. So thank you for watching this squad. Please can you drop a like and get to 30 likes, that would be possible. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.